Hello everybody, this has been with another Minecraft video. In today's episode, I wanted to show off my uh, compact 5x3 numeric display. So I built this uh, display uh, as kind of a challenge. I enjoy trying to figure out how to make very compact redstone. And this proved to be quite difficult with a uh, 10 digit display, as I'll explain in a minute. But before I do, I'll show this off a bit. So you can see this design is tileable. You can put any number of them next to each other, they'll chain together. You can see that it is, that the space between them is only two blocks. And that in total, each of these only takes up five blocks wide. So let's check out the uh, the components that go into this display and explain how it works. Falling back, we can take a look at the uh, the bones behind this construction. As you can see, it's a very large and uh, complex uh, design here. Uh, this is needed to fit the clock or the, uh, the display within my confines here, within the three wide uh, area we have to work with. I have the singular model of this over here to kind of show off the individual bits. Up front you have the display and behind it you have the stuff, you know, the, uh, the redstone that controls which of these is on or off. Then it splits off into three. And each of these three um, paths, this one, this one, and this one, is controlled by a separate uh, memory cell. We have a clock in the back which causes it to uh, progress one number at a time. And then this sandstone here is the uh, carryover, so that when this hits uh, zero, it will add one to the next uh, display line. So I'm going to explain how the display works, how the memory cells work, and then talk a little bit about how these all come together. Here we have our numeric display. This is a prototype I built uh, to figure out the wiring for this. There are nine inputs that either have to be on or off, and these control all changeable lights on this display. There's actually a few tricks you can do with this. The first is that these bottom two rows always... Sorry, chicken. These two bottom rows always change the, the same. So either they're both always on, but they're both always off. So those can be wired together. Uh, this one, this light and this light are always on, no matter what number. So those three just are powered always. And of course these two in the middle aren't powered at all. So using that trick you can get down to uh, nine inputs. Now the next hurdle is you have ten numbers and nine inputs, which means you have to somehow contain uh, 90 bits of information in your system. Now this is only 3 wide and we want to be able to stack them next to each other without having like a you know a 9 block uh, space. So 
we have to figure out a way to store 90 bits of information in a three wide space. So that's what the uh, memory cell over there will do for us. So this is the memory cell I use in my design. It consists of a piston ribbon. And what this does is it just, whenever there's a pulse, it cycles through and puts in a new line. In this design, each of these lines represents a different number. Now the cool thing here is that, let's turn that off, is that you have a redstone repeater going into a block. Now on the other side of that block, uh, if it is a transparent block, power will not be sent through. If it is opaque, then it will be sent through. So using this design, you can tell whether the signal coming out should be off or on. And if you hook that right up to this, it will turn it on or off. So you can easily store the information for your number in one of these memory cells. Now the problem is, of course, that this in order to get nine numbers, or in order to get nine inputs, with each of these being a uh, number, you would need a nine wide uh, piston rim ribbon. Uh, that would work, but it'd be very bulky because you would need to put uh, let's see, you need a four block space on either side to fit that in, and that's too much space. So because we need nine, I, I decided just to do three, three wide ones, which gives me my nine inputs. It makes this very bulky, as you can see but it makes it thin, which is more important since we want to stack these together to make a nice uh, display. I'm not going to show how to build the piston ribbon or this. Um, if you mess around for a while, you, you should be able to figure out how to do this. Uh, I can show you here, but it's mostly just uh, making sure you don't have any uh, crossing redstone. I plan to do a video on a seven, uh, seven segment display, and I'll try to build the uh, this and that this in that video. This is more just a, uh, a little challenge I put to myself on how to build a nice looking compact 3x5 display. So I hope this has inspired you to go out there and try something kind of crazy with redstone. These kind of builds can be kind of frustrating, but they can also be kind of inspiring, you know? So, until next time, have a good day.